Yo, 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 what's good everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and it is early in the morning. The wifey's not joining me today because she has a uh, doctor's appointment, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, but we are going to Augusta, Georgia for uh, another estate sale. If you guys remember that estate sale where we found all that Sizzix stuff, you know, a lot of the master's chairs and uh, the Scotty Cameron uh, putter cover, you know, all that type of stuff. Well, the exact same estate sale company, Mr. Mike, um, and, and his crew are having another one, and the pictures looked very, very promising. Now, again, not going to be tag teaming this estate sale, which is unfortunate, which is unfortunate. I, I really wish my wife was going to be coming with me because I got to make that two and a half hour drive there, then the two and a half hour drive back. So it's going to be taking a lot out of me, and we just won that unit uh, yesterday. So if we get back in time, we might go down to the unit to take all the trash to the dump. So it just really depends. <laughs> so, but it's 5.15 in the morning and uh, we got a long drive ahead of us. We should be getting there about an hour and a half early and uh, hopefully we get a good little spot uh, to uh, get in there first. So wish us luck and uh, yeah, let's go and get them deals. Check this out. So we're at this estate sale, and uh, apparently there's a bunch of parking and stuff. It's like a private area, and uh, essentially these buildings right here have like a couple people living in them. But I think just in this building that we're going in, there's only one person. That person left until 10 o'clock to where this estate sale should roughly be over with. And uh, I guess the HOA people here uh, are shutting down the whole estate sale because I guess the parking is messed up or something. I'm not exactly too sure. So the, the owner came out and said they, uh, they're they canceling the estate sale. We're kind of waiting around just to see if they can work a deal because, I mean, it's Friday. It's only going to be up for a few hours. So hopefully they don't cancel because I drove two and a half hours here. They put a lot of work into it. So I don't know. But the lady right there, if you guys can see that, she's the one who complained. We no, called HOA. The white shirt. Yeah, in the white shirt. And I mean, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous. I mean. I mean, I guess it is what it is. I mean, we drove two and a half hours again. I think she's again. the one yeah. that initially started all I, I the think, problems. I think so too, yeah. If it wasn't for her, it probably would be fine, but we're gonna wait around for a few minutes. Hopefully it changes. If not, I know Miss Anna over here said there's another estate sale going on, so we'll take our money and hopefully find something there, because if not, it's just, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a waste of a drive. At least I get to spend time with a viewer, you know, Miss Anna. <laughs> so uh, probably gonna get some lunch. Um, but so it's not necessarily a waste of time, but at the same time, we came here to find some deals. So I guess we're just gonna wait. All right, guys. So they pulled the they pulled the estate sale. HOA canceled. There's a bunch of Karens, I guess, going on around here. I don't know. Uh, but apparently, if we don't leave. Mr. Mike's gonna get arrested, so that's the reason why we're leaving. So, I mean, what can you do? These are the people that are responsible for it over here to the left. Thank y'all. Hope y'all are happy now. Nice to be in Augusta. Look at all this. Making all these people leave. Yeah, and there's a cop right there too. It's crazy. What time did y'all get here? I know y'all get here. I left the house at 3 o'clock in the morning. We had two hours. Yeah, same here. Well, Where I, you live I left at, at 5 30, yeah. Yeah, where, did, where did you come from? Thompson. I came from Savannah. Yeah. People drove, all these people, all these people drove. But see, people are still sticking around like it's gonna happen. But I don't, I don't get why people are standing around. There's, there's easily what, almost 100 people here. At least close, close to it. At least send them home. I mean, you can't blame Mr. Mike though. I mean, you can't blame them. You can't blame the estate sale company. It's just people complaining, and people not parking right, or whatever the case is. I don't really know. Well, the only thing but I would have been, you know, if, if it's it crazy. had been Mike, I would have made sure I talked to the I mean, man. Yeah. Pull out unless he moves his truck. Yeah. So what about the people that are actually parked correctly? I mean, you, you know what I mean? Like, Dude, everyone is parked correctly yeah. except for the one or well, two cars that were down well, there. Well, there's, there's a few people up front here. I know over here they were parking in uh, numbered spots. I, uh -oh. I know that for sure, but it was, I mean, I understand that. But if anything, I should, you know what I would have done? Call a tow truck to all these people. I mean, that's a field day for tow truck companies. Mm -hmm. take, take the people that are parked wrong. Oh, mm -hmm. there goes the blue lights right there. Hey, you gotta let us out of here, and we can't get out of here. Yeah, they they, they come. The yeah, I said they come out the road. I'm like, we're just waiting for the traffic to die down because we can't get out. Yeah, and the, and the people that are calling the parking issue 
Oh, is the people in the white truck. The white truck. He won't move. Now, nobody, right now all these people can't move. Oh. He's in front of this um, H2O thing, car, yeah. Yeah. Um, whatever. Yeah, Hummer, car. yeah. Because yeah. even the, the, the man who lives in the that building said it was fine. He, he just came down just wondering what was going on and he left for a few hours and he was going to come back. He said, he said he didn't have a problem with people coming in and doing this thing. So it's like... Nobody can pull out. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. I mean, it would be nice if they would just be like, listen, y'all got like two hours. You know, two hours y'all got to be out of here or something, you know. Instead of wasting everybody's time, they'd be like, hey, look, be out of here in two hours, and then that's all the time y'all get for today, and then come back to it. All right, yeah, so this Hummer, this cop, and this white car, or white truck in front of us is blocking the road, and they complain about people parking wrong. I don't know, I, seem, I feel like this is kind of like, halfway backwards like you want people to leave but you are blocking this whole freaking lane to what we can't leave so i don't know man it's it's a little a little ridiculous and on top of that i'm trying to get out of here and uh me and uh miss anna a viewer now she's a, a good friend now uh we're gonna go get some breakfast and hopefully uh <laughs> i mean i don't know it's kind of a kind of a waste of a drive to be honest i mean big old hummer in the way i mean all this for no reason man all this for no reason. Look at that, blocking the whole freaking thing, man. It's crazy. Crazy stuff, man. Absolutely like ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it was odd. Yeah, never, never seen an estate sale closed down because of that. It's just ridiculous. It's nothing to do. I guess we go get breakfast and then, and then go home. I don't know. Like, subscribe. I mean, I wasted two and a half hours going up here, man. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, it wasn't a complete waste again, you know, like I said. At least I got to meet a viewer, and, or a couple viewers, uh, and now I'm going to get some breakfast with her. So, you know, it's, it's life. You know, things like this happen, I guess. So, much love, subscribe, like, comment, and I don't know if the future me is going to say anything about it or not. So, uh, I don't know. So I know this is a shorter video than normal and obviously I was hoping to have more footage for you guys uh, and you guys can tell I'm very frustrated. I'm trying to make positive out of a negative. Uh, you know, at, at the end of the day I did get to spend time with Miss Anna. I, was, I think we spent like three or four hours together um, between going to eat a breakfast and she was asking me a bunch of eBay questions and just kind of how I got started, how I do things, this, that and the other. And um, she's very, very cool. Um, anytime I go up there, she would be uh, one of the people I message. You know, be hey, I'm going to the state cell if you want to meet up and uh, you know get breakfast afterwards or whatever. Um, but yeah, she's she's a really cool, uh, really cool lady, and um, we we hit it off pretty well. So uh, and I and I love that. I love that's why whenever I go out, some, you know, to places or whatever, and some people watch my videos, I love I love talking to people. So any way that I can teach people how to do the eBay thing or kind of give my my two cents and my advice, I always love doing that as well. Um, but yeah, in the video, you guys could tell I was a little frustrated and, um, yeah, it is what it is. I actually did get some little bit of information, um, that the, uh, estate sale company with Mr. Mike that they put on their Facebook page. Uh, they did say that they actually got prior approval by the HOA. Um, but I guess they didn't realize how much of a crowd that they actually draw. Uh, I mean, I mean, they got approval. I mean, <laughs> you know, so again, I don't know the stipulations on why everything was escalated to what it was. I don't know if it was people parking in the wrong spots. I'm not too sure where I was parked. I was actually parked in the extra spaces that allow uh, visitors to come in. That's where I was parked. So I know I was 100% good, um, but I wasn't sure if people were parking in numbered spots. I just, I'm not too sure. But they did draw a big crowd and there was probably at least 100 people there, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but there was a gigantic crowd. And and again you know I say it was a waste of time in the video but all in all it's not necessarily a waste I did waste the gas of course but I mean at least we got to meet a viewer a couple of viewers and we actually got to you know talk to you know a viewer Miss Anna and all that so like I said there, there was some positive that came out of this I, I feel bad for Mr. Mike and his crew because they didn't get a paycheck that week at least I think um, but they put a lot of work into these estate sales man and it just it sucks to go out that way but um, they're actually having this estate sale the 18th and 19th or 19th and 20th I can't remember um, but they're doing it by appointment only and I didn't see the post in time because I was on my way home and uh, yeah so I didn't get an appointment but it is what it is there's gonna be more estate sales so in the meantime we're gonna stay positive and we're gonna stay motivated and going to these estate sales whenever we can hopefully we never run into this problem again uh, because I don't like being frustrated <laughs> so uh, but yeah that's the end of the video man I'm sorry that it wasn't really about reselling but uh, this is 
some of the things we have to deal with in the real world. So, uh, yeah, please subscribe, like, and comment. Please share this video because, um, yeah, it's a little ridiculous. But what can you do? Much love. Uh, big shout out to Mr. Mike too. He's very cool, and he even he even apologized to us over on a, a YouTube video um, as well. And I was like, man, listen, you ain't gotta apologize. This is not your fault. So I just want to put that in there as well. So Mr. Mike, if you're watching this, hey man, we love you, man. You, you you're a good dude, and y'all 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 work hard. So uh, don't don't uh, don't dwell on it. <laughs> at least at least on our on our behalf, you know. Like I said, y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. So uh, much love. We'll catch you guys next video. It's your boy Georgia Picker. Peace.